exposed to 15,000 chemicals daily, but only 500 have ever been checked for health issues. We tend to think that regulators of professions are there to protect us. They're not. They're there to protect the profession. There's enough mercury in one average size filling to exceed the EPA standard of exposure for over 100 years. I was now killing more children every year than the Vietnam War killed in 20. 33 major companies made more money in 2005 than the rest of the Fortune 500 put together. Little companies like Microsoft. Think about this. You're putting the most toxic substance on the earth that's not radioactive into your body. They want to blame everything on something else so that they can create a drug to go after it. For a child's developing brain, that mercury exposure can be horrid. It can be permanent. It's a major honor to have won three awards this August for our film Silence as Mercury Rises at the Cannes World Film Festival, Remember the Future. We won for Best Help Movie, Best Director and Best Producer Awards. This is never achieved alone and was all possible thanks to a great team that was surrounding me. First, I have to thank two amazing people that have always believed in what I was doing, Sonia and Leon Vachon. You've changed my life in ways you can't imagine. Without you, this would never have been possible. We'll never forget that. You're in my heart and soul every single day. A very special thank you to Dr. Rashid Bittar. This story would not exist without you. You were the inspi inspiration for this entire film. Thank you to my partner, Chad Murdoch, and his crew who work on this production. They are the talent behind the filming you see in the movie. Two of my Quebec Mission Impossible team partners I get to work with every week, Nathalie Emon and Arlette Nuraija. Two amazing women who have made sure I always looked ahead I kept creating and believed in me and in my crazy dreams. Yann Savard, Camille Zamit, and Mathieu Laté, you guys were incredible. You did an amazing job editing this movie in such difficult conditions. Cannot leave out my parents, Robert and Lorraine, by far the greatest believers in what I can achieve. I love you, mom and dad. And also thank you to Isabelle Leblanc, the mother of my two amazing sons and best friends, Louis Thomas and Alexandra Talbot. You've all been behind me in this crazy adventure, always believed in me. Thank you so much. And finally, a very special thank you to Carolina Bomba, founder of this amazing festival. Un merci tout spécial à Carolina Bomba pour avoir créé ce festival qui m'a donné la chance de présenter mon film. This gives me and my team the fuel to create more amazing films. So Carolina, you will see more of my work in the next years. COVID hasn't stopped us. We've had to rethink ourselves as producers and filmmakers, but we did. We innovated in ways that will actually last for the better. So I wish everyone to stay healthy. Don't let COVID or anything else stop you. Never stop. Thank you.